Hello and welcome to A Tatter of Fact, the Girls Inc. studio in Las Vegas. And it's raining today. Raining, raining, raining. <laughs> it never rains in Las Vegas. We were just talking. Um, of course, I got Olivia and Willow here. And Vegas is like sunny, what, 350 days out of the year or something like that. And so when it rains, it's, it's, you know, so rare here. I think most of us like it. Like we enjoy the rain, right? It makes you want, but it makes you want to stay home. Like it was hard coming into work today. Like it makes you want to stay home in your jammies, you know, on the couch with a blankie. And you mentioned soup, Willow. Soup. soup. Yeah. <laughs> a what kind of soup? A good bowl of soup. A good bowl. What? So what's your favorite soup? Clam chowder. Ooh, really? <laughs> yeah. You don't like clam chowder? No, and I'm from Maine. I mean, you I would... I feel like you have the best clam chowder there. Well, well we do. And my, my grandfather was, like, famous for his clam chowder. I have a great clam chowder soup. Well, it's chowder, not really soup, yeah. you know, if we want to get technical. But I have a great story. I went home years ago to Maine to visit my family. And I never, ha and I never had the heart to tell my, my papa, my grandfather, that I didn't like clam chowder. Because he was just, you know, I'm from Maine. I'm supposed to like lobster, seafood, clam chowder, and, you know, all, all, all that Maine is known for, which is their fresh seafood. But I don't. And just never really had the heart to tell my grandfather. So my whole life, you know, he just thought I loved clams. Um, because when I was a little girl, you know, you want to make your grandfather happy right because my grandfather was awesome and I was in awe of him and I loved him and he loved clams and so we would eat clam we would go clamming as a family and and we would steam clams and we would you know my, me and my grandfather we would throw them like literally in a bowl of melted butter and then you let them sit for a little bit and then you would take them out and you would eat them and I, I just didn't like them. The stomachs were really gritty. I just didn't like them, but I pretended to like them to, you know, be like one with my grandfather. So anyway, so I go home and I, I visit him and um, about to get on the plane, you know, leave for the airport to come back, back to Vegas. And I stop over my grandparents, you know, give him a big hug goodbye. And my grandfather was like, oh, wait, wait a minute. I, I made you like, you know, some, some clam chowder to take home. I'm like, oh, well, that's great, Pops, thanks. And, you know, I got lots of friends in Vegas that are going to, like, find this to be a tasty treat. They're going to love it. He had it in a milk jug, like a like a big plastic gallon milk jug. Do you, you know what I mean? Those, yeah. yeah, okay, he had one of those. So I bring it on the, I put it in my knapsack, I bring it on the plane, no problem, no problem. Well, I fall asleep. I fall asleep, I'm sleeping, I get woken up, by the airline stewardess like nudging me and she wakes me up and she's like is there anything in your knapsack do you have do you have seafood somewhere and I'm like you know I'm drowsy and I'm like well, my grandfather yeah he gave me some clam chowder she goes where is it and so I get my knapsack out well it had exploded inside <laughs> my knapsack the homemade clam chowder Due to the air pressure, yeah. which I, you know, my grandfather nor my myself anticipated, it had exploded inside my knapsack, and some of the contents had escaped my knapsack, <laughs> and evidently it smelled, it smelled the <laughs> smelled up the plane, and so it was a big mess. It was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> You know, so yeah, that's my clam chowder story. So, um, chicken noodle soup is probably mine. Homemade chicken noodle soup. Olivia, you? <laughs> I don't want to seem like I'm copying, but it's clam chowder. It's clam too. chowder. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good. That, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Lots of people like clam chowder. It's okay. It's all right. So yeah, so here we are. Uh, before we get into this uh, podcast, I wanted to take a minute um to we all wanted to take a, a a minute willow olivia and myself to thank all of you that download us uh watch us on youtube stream us on spotify spotify podcast addict itunes buzzsprout 
um, we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We This year uh, was a real growing year for Tatter Effect, for this podcast. Um, we just got our analytics and thousands and thousands and thousands more uh, in 2022 have downloaded our podcast, um, following us, engaging us. And, uh, and it's fantastic. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And, and it makes us super happy. So we're super grateful, super thankful. Um, and if you are following us, whether it's, you know, watching us on YouTube or streaming us on uh, one of the streaming channels, um, you know, if you happen to like, like an episode, you like what we're doing, um, uh, you know, a review would be great. Uh, feel free to leave us a review. Those are always appreciated. We read every single one of them. Every single one of them means a lot to us. Uh, and um, in your engagement, your your questions, your comments uh, certainly means a lot to us. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for following us, listening and engaging and supporting us here at uh, A Tatter of Fact. We got another great uh, season um, you know, for you this year. So we're, we're super excited. Um, so just a, a couple things that I wanted to mention as well. And that, that is the Girls Inc. Gazette. Um, Willow and Olivia spend a lot of time putting the Girls Inc. Gazette together. Some of you that, um, our customers are on our email list, are, are already getting the Girls Inc. Gazette, so you know what I'm talking about. But for those of you that are not on our email list, you have no idea, so I wanna tell you what it is. It's this, it's this publication that, like, like I said, Olivia and Willow put together uh, bi-weekly. It, it comes out every two weeks, and it's just got lots of education, free education. There's, there's a blog on there, there's uh, tattoo tips on there. We just started showcasing and highlighting um, an artist. Are we doing that once a month? Yes. So once a month, and we just did our very first artist showcase and highlight, which was fantastic. I, was she expecting it, or did we surprise her? It was a little bit of both. A little bit of both. So we put out, um, you know, we posted, you know, a picture of her in, in the Gazette, um, a little bio, where you can follow her and on Instagram so you can check out her work. And um, and so it, it was a real pleasure to do that for her. Uh, and, and I know it was really exciting f for her as, as well. So we are going to be showcasing and highlighting artists uh, all year long in the Girls Inc. Gazette. Is there something they need to do if they want to be showcased or highlighted Willow? What do I tell them to do? They first need to sign up to receive the Gazette and in the Gazette every month will be the link to um, apply for the artist spotlight feature. And we'll be going through and um, picking one randomly every month just to promote and gain exposure for them. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So first join the email list, which you can do on, it's on the Girls Inc. store, yes. right? You can join the email list, the newsletter. Um, and when you do bi-weekly, you are going to get the Girls Inc. Gazette. And I, I, I haven't seen anything else like this. It's really thorough. You guys, I watch you for the two weeks you're putting it together. I see you guys collaborating and asking each other's opinion and figuring out what topics and what tip. And you, I'm so proud of it. I came in today and I told you, I just saw the latest Girls Inc. Gazette and I was like, you guys are blowing me away. It's like, it's just so good. It's so good. I'm like so proud, you don't even know. So I'm so grateful for the both of you. Um, I think it's a fantastic publication. Like I said, it's free education, free PMU education. We're not spamming you. And, and, and I do want to point out, when you do join our email list, yeah, we announce some new products that are launching. And we do announce some new uh, products, you know, if any new products or, or tools or machines are, are being launched in, in the Gazette. Um, we do announce if there's any discount codes or sales going on. Uh, but that's all stuff that, you know, I think artists want to know, you know. But we are very 
conscientious and very aware and nor do we want to spam anybody you know on we don't want to use our newsletter um and our email uh list uh to spam to spam you and constantly you know berate your inbox with you know all kinds of crap so uh, we definitely don't do that and if you don't like how we're using our emails you don't want to get our emails you can always opt out but if you're not opted in I would opt in uh, just so you get a look at this Girls Inc. Gazette because it's really really good really really good um so thank you girls for putting that together and um yeah so uh super exciting (laughs) 